chair. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Overcome by Love. I am Apostle Cora Langford, and tonight I have Prophetess Ruth here with me, and we're going to talk about Overcome by Love. But we're all, we're just going to do some um, give you some encouraging words tonight, some encouraging Bible verses. So I hope that you will take out your pen and take out your pad of paper so you can write down these scriptures because they are powerful and there's anointing behind them and you know it's a matter of you just trusting God to do the impossible be possible amen amen so would you like to open up in prayer Ruth amen thank you Holy Father we just thank you for this time yes so Lord. All hallelujah the people that are watching we thank you Father God for blessing them Lord yes, God Lord. for opening their ears Father God that they will receive your word Lord, yes, Lord. God and act on it Father God hear it and just receive your love tonight, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. So tonight, um, I just kind of wanted to share about biblical obedience. You know, it's to mm -hmm. hear God's word and act accordingly. Mm -hmm. You know, this is biblical obedience to God means to hear, to trust, to submit and surrender to God and his word. So it's important that you read the Word of God on a daily basis and, you know, and read it every day, you know, and don't let, you know, a day go by without reading a scripture Amen. Amen. because it's your spirit, man, that needs to be filled up, you know, and, and, you know, it helps us to, to understand the Word of God when we are speaking it out. So I just want to encourage you that it says in Philippians 4.13 that I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens uh, me. Amen. 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 All right, Ruth, so I know you have something to share. I mean, you know, the Lord was talking to me about um, His will, and you're talking about obedience, and He was talking to me about His will, doing His will. He has a plan and a Amen. purpose for all of us. It's just not that we get saved and then no. we just do whatever we want. No, but He has a plan That's right. for us. Amen. And I was... Um, Reading where he, the disciples were asking him about prayer, and this is when he said in the Our Father, this is how he said to pray. He said to pray, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Then and we're supposed to pray that same way and ask for His will. And um, also, it says um, that um, if we ask anything in His name, it says in First John. 5, 14, and 15, this is the confidence we have in Him. If we ask anything according to His will, if it's according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, we have whatever we ask. Amen? So He's not going to just give us whatever. You know, it has to be according to His will right. and His plan. And I, and I think that what happens sometimes is that um, we, our flesh wants things. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. and and so That's instead of asking, you know, God what He wants, <laughs> we're saying, well, this is what I want, this should, and you should do this, God. Yeah, trying to tell Him, it's like yeah. we're trying to tell God what to yeah. do, you yeah. know. Yeah. And God's like, yeah, "Are you done yet?" Guilty. Yeah, He's like, "Are you yeah. done?" You know, asking what you want because I'm ready to give you what I want to give you, so that I can bless you, so yeah. I can prosper you. So I can turn your life around, Amen. Amen. you know, and so it's so important that that you are in his will and that you are being obedient. It says in John 16, 13, that the, when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own will. He will only speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is to come. That is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's the reason Amen. why we need the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit will come, He will guide us, direct us, share with us, you know, what is truth, and, and really, mm -hmm. He will even tell us, you know, about deception, oh, you know, yeah. He will share that, you know, if someone he is speaking truth, He will say, mm -hmm. He will let us know that, that it's not true. So it's important that you hear the Word of God, that not only that you hear it, but you also do it. And, you know, you need to be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word. Amen. 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 So it's important Amen. that, you know, with all of us that, 
that um, that God that we can you know rely on God to do the impossible, be possible. It says in Isaiah forty one ten, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. And that Amen. is powerful. That you know, Amen. so it's like you know, wherever you go, whatever you do. God is right there with you. Amen. He's there to bless you. Amen. You know, you have some testimonies to share, you know, about, um, about you know, how you have, you know, asked the Lord, you know, to help you, you know, with monies, with finances, and then all of a sudden, you know, you got monies, you know, putting into yeah. your bank account yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I did. Um, I had, and it was all about believing God's word and speaking it out um and because i needed money and i sell a product that um is really good it's with a christian company but long story short i needed money and I, the enemy is whispering and you know how we don't have an enemy you hear this whispery little voice saying oh what are you going to do now you don't have a job blah blah, blah. and then the, i heard the holy spirit he said um that scripture in Proverbs 8.21, bestowing wealth on those who love me. I bestow wealth on those who love me, making their treasury full. And I started speaking out that word. And then the, the lies left. I wasn't hearing that voice anymore. Mm -hmm. And I, I was um, getting, the Lord told me to check my, my card, for the pay card for the product I sell. And I should have only had like maybe 5 or $10. I checked it and there was money put in. There was like $100 more. And I'm like, okay, God, is this real? Or did they make a mistake? Or are they going to take it away? What happened? But I trusted him because he told me that scripture. And I had been giving the product to people really cheap, like not making any money from it. When he told me to give it or bless it, even though I'm not an employee, he told me to do it. And so I knew that that was because of what he told me, right? And then I found out later, uh, they sent me an email saying that it was a bonus a team bonus, but I hadn't done anything to get a team bonus. And then when I looked on my bonus history, there's nothing. So, but God did it. He gave me Amen. the money. And then I also had prayed about my taxes coming before Good Friday. They were supposed to come after. And I said, Lord, I believe you want me to have them before Good Friday so I could buy more of the product and then give it to more people and sell it. And, it, and I told God, I said, Lord, if it doesn't come by this time, I'm not going to have this as you know God because you know everything, but I'm telling him, you know, because yeah. we pray, we talk to God like just like we're talking right now. Right. I was like, Lord, okay, I need this fleece before you. If it doesn't come, I can't buy more of the product, you know, to sell it. And right the day before, I would have had to cancel, the tax money came. So that was just the Lord. And he, he blesses us and he, when you give, he gives back. Amen. Amen. He always supplies all you know, of our and, needs. And that's the thing is that um, when you are, um, listening to the holy spirit mm -hmm. and when oh, you're yeah. honoring god and and doing his will and you say you know what i'm going to be submissive to you father god i am i'm just gonna you know rest in you i am going to do mm -hmm. what you want me to do and before mm -hmm. you know it doors open for you you mm -hmm. know many doors open and and, and basically you. what you have to do is that you have to walk through them you know i what i want to share to you tonight is um you know, there's a lot of people out there that know the Word of God. I mean, they are, you know, like a theologian. You know, they, they just know <laughs> the Word of God. But the thing is, is that when you have faith, faith not is not only just believing, you know, in the Word of God, mm -hmm. but actually doing it too, okay? And what I mean by this, this is an example. So... You know, here I am, I can preach all these great things, you know, and I can say, oh, raise your faith up, you know, trust God, he will do it. <laughs> but yet, you know, you're, you're, you're doing, you know, you're reading what the Bible says and you're believing it, but are you really doing it? That's the question. Are you really stepping out in faith? Mm, and doing it. Amen. I can preach to you all day long. Being a doer. You know, yeah. I, I can I can say the word, I can say mm -hmm. the scriptures all mm -hmm. day long. Mm -hmm. But am I living my life like that? Am I really living my life like God wants me to live my life? Amen. Am I stepping out in faith when He's Amen. asking me to? to do. Amen. There's a lot of Christians that are not stepping out in faith. They can read the word oh, of God a, all day long. There's a and they can go preach, you know, and they and they can bring the fire of God. But are they living 
that life? Are they stepping out in Amen. faith? Amen. That's my question to you. Amen. Are you stepping out in faith? Do you really trust God? Mm -hmm. Because you know what? I can tell you from my own, from my own testimonies, from my own experience that, yeah. you know, when I was making really good money, every week I was getting a payroll check. <laughs> every week. And, and that was supplying pretty much all my needs. Right. And then when God took me out of, the, out of that job, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me two weeks before I was going to lose that job. And that was like four or five years ago. Okay? And that was because God wanted me to know, to understand the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay? So here I am trusting in, in, in the spirit of mammon, really. You know, because when you... You yeah. know, are, yeah. are getting a payroll check yeah. every week. That's it. You right. know, that's really like a spirit of mammon because you're, you know, you're like, okay, you're putting in your hours and you're working and you're going to get paid. Uh -huh. So when God took that's me true. out of that, I had no more payroll check. Uh -huh. But yet I was able to go to China, <laughs> to Egypt, Praise God Almighty. to Israel, what a testimony. to Praise Indonesia, God. Thank you, Jesus. to Ethiopia, Obedient daughter, that's know, right. and all these you. places, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I had no money. Right. So is that faith? I would say yes. Yeah. Because, see, I heard the Holy Spirit say, take a step of faith, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. he would supply all my needs. That he was my supplier. He was my provider. Oh, yes. He is my husband. He is my Jehovah Jireh. You told me that today, the husband, Isaiah 54. Yeah. yeah. The husband is your maker. The yes, Lord right. You don't need a man. Mary didn't need a man to conceive the Messiah. She That's only right. needed the Holy Spirit. That's right. So when you have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the thing is that I want to encourage you. I'm not trying to, to discourage you. I'm trying mm. to encourage okay. you. Amen. So some of you, you know, you're receiving a check every week. Yeah. But yet you're not taking that step of faith that God wants you to take. Mm -hmm. and, and you're like, well, I don't I don't know. I mean, you know, how, how can I do that? I'm like, well, you know what? Leave all your stuff behind. Give your mm -hmm. stuff away. Rich and your ruler. Okay? Yeah. Just give all your stuff yeah. away. Are you going to follow Jesus? Oh, amen. Are you going to follow that's Jesus? Lord, amen. Thank you, Lord God. Okay, Lord. because see, mm -hmm. I can tell you that's what I did. Yeah. I got rid of my my house, my big house that I had. And I gave it all away. I think there was only one thing that I sold, which was my washer and dryer, because it was brand new. And I sold that. That was the only thing. Everything away. else I gave away. Mm -hmm. Because see, you know, I heard the Holy Spirit say, will you follow me? And I said, yes, Lord, I will follow you. Mm -hmm. And so I want to encourage you today that just because you know the word of God, doesn't mean that you're always listening to God. Oh, so I'm man. encouraging you to not only read the yes. Word of God, Lord but Lord. listen to the Word of God. Yes. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Because it says in 1 John 2.27, it says, as, far, as for you, the anointing you receive from Him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. Amen. But as His anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in Him. <laughs> See, the Amen. Holy Spirit comes like a mighty rushing mm -hmm. wind. You know, and, and it's like a whirlwind. And you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and, and because He's like taking all the old stuff off of you. He's yes. And He wants Amen. you to receive the fresh anointing of the heavenly oil that's coming from heaven. And He wants to refresh you. He wants to anoint you. And, and so that's the reason why, you know, you need to know not only the Word of God, but you need to be a doer of the Word. Amen. And how do you be a doer of the Word? You just take one step of faith. You take one step of faith, and you do it. And you ask God to help you. Ask the Holy Spirit, all right, Holy Spirit, am I going here? Am I going there? Hallelujah. Where am I going? Amen. And the Holy Spirit will guide you and direct you. You know, just like you, you know, you, you meet some people when you're um, getting left. Yeah. You know, you can share those testimonies about, oh, yeah. you know, the how... different people. When I go, some, I normally take the bus, but sometimes I end up taking Lyft home here at night. And every time, even when I was before working and then now coming here, I always tell people about the Lord. And sometimes people don't want to hear it, but I have to say something every time before I get out of the Lyft 
I am compelled to tell them, mm -hmm. Jesus loves you. He has a reason for you to be here. Even if that's all I say. One guy recently, I just, I was talking to him a little bit and he really wasn't receiving it. But at the end, I just said, well, Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's all they need to hear. When I first got saved, I was, um, I was 19, but the Lord kept sending people to witness to me. And I didn't really receive it, but something in me was, was receiving it because finally it all, I ended up going to the altar and getting saved, you know, when they had an altar call when I yeah. was, and, but um, we, I just really needed to know. And when it finally hit me that God loved me, I needed a savior and that he was there. I just started crying. I was a 19 year old rebellious little yeah. brat, you know, <laughs> I'm raising my hand you know, we're, we're here to encourage you to, yeah. To, to elevate you, you know, in the Holy Spirit to increase your faith. You, because, you know, there are times where you really need God to help you. And, and, and there's so yeah. many people that say, oh, God is not listening to me. He's not hearing my prayers, mm. you know. Mm. But is it because you're not really truly believing Him? <laughs> that's, that's it right there. I'm yeah. telling you right now. Yeah. Because, see, I may not have mm. all the Bible knowledge, but I got the Holy Spirit. And when you got the Holy Spirit, that's all you need. He, he will give you. He will right. give you the Bible. Okay. <laughs> I, I've even seen myself eating like this scroll. I'm eating this scroll. Uh, and it's going it. inside uh -huh, of me. Uh -huh. Right? And that's the Word of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and you know, it's like the Word of God. It's like, you know, even before you were even born, God put the, He put, you know, that you would know good from evil. Mm -hmm. He, he mm -hmm. put that in you. Amen. You know, and, Amen. and then when the Holy Spirit came... You know, it, it says that that in John 14, 26 and 27, it says, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. Peace I give you. Mm -hmm. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do mm -hmm. not be afraid. Because, see, fear is not of the Lord, no. but confidence is. Confidence is from the Lord. So we have to encourage you tonight Amen. that, you know, as you grow in confidence, as you grow in, in this word of God, as you grow in having more knowledge Amen. and more wisdom and greater discernment and greater understanding, so shall your faith increase. And so therefore you won't have to, you know, be crying, oh, I can't, I can't do this. I can't help it. You know, Lord, you know, wherever you are, Lord. Oh, but, no, no, he's right but there. But you know that God is right he's here with you. Yes. He's in you. He's in your Emmanuel, heart. Emmanuel, God with us. That's right. That's the prophesy, prophecy of him in the Old Testament, that he'll be called Emmanuel, a virgin will conceive, a bear a son. I love that. He's, he doesn't leave us. Never. He's always there. Always. Always. And we have to trust, like you said, I love what you're speaking of tonight, and it's touching me and encouraging me so much, <laughs> because the Lord, and he said one of my favorite scriptures, if I could share, yeah. is in Joshua 1.8, where he says, meditate on the book of the law, which is his word, God's word, day and night, don't let it leap, depart from you, and do what it says, and this is a key to prosperity. And I'm learning that. Okay. I'm learning it. And it says, do what it says. Then you will prosper and have good success. So when we, people go all over, fly over to hear motivational speakers about success and finances. All you have to do, <laughs> God's word tells you everything. If you are married, you don't need a marriage counselor. The Holy Spirit, he's wonderful counselor. Amen. My God. All you need is the word of God, the Holy Spirit. Can I read something really fast? The scripture, um, where because you're talking about the Holy Spirit, He teaches us how He helps us to pray, also. Yes. Right. You can't learn that no. in Bible school, like you no. said. It says in Romans eight twenty six, the Spirit also helps our infirmities, for we don't know what we should pray for. We don't even know. We don't know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered, and He helps us. He prays. The will of God. And what scripture God's is this? Will. That is in Romans eight twenty six. Roman eight twenty six. The Holy people. Spirit helps you pray. You don't have to be wondering what to pray. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in your prayer language, which God wants us all to yes. have. I believe that it says that He that believes in me will speak in other tongues, and that He'll baptize you with the Holy Spirit with fire. You pray, and He helps you pray according to the will of God. Jesus Christ died for us 
what, who would you want better to, don't you think he has what's best for us? He gave his life someone that would do that. You know that we can trust him. He gave Amen. his life. So there's five, five goals that you should write these down. You know, number one is, of course, study the word of God. Amen. Number two, pray. Amen. Number three, have some sort of spiritual goal. Uh, you know, a spiritual goal can be, you know, uh, I think I want to read, you know, a chapter every day, uh -huh. you know, in the, in the Bible, you know, or, you know, maybe you just want to read a book in the Bible, you know, Amen. and try to accomplish that, you know, in, in a week's time or something. You know, you can write down so many different spiritual goals, or maybe you need to, um, you want to memorize some scriptures. Oh, yeah. You know, so that's yeah. another spiritual oh, yeah. goal. There's that's, so many different types so of spiritual goals. Just write it down. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth thing is, you know, you should always have an intimate encounter with the Holy Spirit. Yes. You oh, need to share it. with God, like, what's on your heart. You know, like, I will, you know, have things on my heart. For example, mm -hmm. tomorrow I'm going in to have um, mm -hmm. a, um, a cyst removed on my eyebrow. And so, you know, my, my thing is, you know, I'm praying to God, Lord, you know, that you touch that doctor's hands and that they will be able to remove Amen. everything that needs to be removed Amen. and, and, and then heal me. You know, my, my goal is of course, you know, God is our great healer. I go to him first before I go to the doctor or anyone else, but you yeah. know what? Sometimes God will use you to get to someone in the hospital or a doctor's office. I was thinking office. That, that God was going to use you when... Yeah. He always has a reason. We yeah, were so, earlier. so, you know, yeah. I, again, you know, again, I, I can rejoice and I can be <laughs> grateful and I can be thankful and say, you know what, Lord, just use Amen. me, Father God, Amen. use me tomorrow, you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and bless that person who's around me so that maybe, maybe they need to be healed. Right. You know, maybe I can pray for someone in the hospital tomorrow. Maybe oh, they need no to have an encounter. There's going to be somebody. Yeah, there is going to be I know. someone. I believe that too. <laughs> I know. So you know what? It's not about it's you. Uh, it's about what doctors. Jesus is going to do through you and out of you Amen. to someone else. Amen. So you know, that's the reason why we have to encourage you. So yeah. the five things, study the word, pray, have a spiritual goal, have an intimate mm -hmm. encounter with the Holy Spirit. And then of course, you know, you want, you want mm -hmm. to serve. You know, you want to get into a place and mm -hmm. serve God. You know, yeah. it doesn't always have to be in your church. You know, you can come to Vision TV and, oh, yeah. and serve. Yes. You know, we always yeah. are looking for people who, who want to come on the prayer lines and pray for yes. people. Amen. You know, I mean, there's so sure. many uses that God, you know, can use you for. So right. it doesn't always have to happen in your church. You can go to yeah. another ministry mm -hmm. and you can bless another ministry. You know, yeah. what is your heart for? Is your heart for women? Is your heart for teenagers? Is your heart to be a, a, a teacher for a little school? In fact, we're looking for a... Um, a children's um, Bible um, teacher, mm -hmm. and, and and you know you don't have to be certified or anything like that, yeah. but you know you have to be a Holy Spirit filled Christian. Yeah. So if you have um, those skills and you love children, but you love God more, yeah. then I invite yeah. you to come get a hold of me. My number is nine four nine three seven eight seven nine four zero. And um, we will hook you up, um, I think it's from 2 to 4 p.m. every Sunday. Mm -hmm. So if you have a call to be a teacher and, and you want to be for a teacher's ministry or for a, a children's ministry, Amen. contact us here at Vision TV. You know, and we are looking for TV hosts all the time. You know, um, we want you to be blessed. You know, we want you to be a blessing to others because, see, when you give the Word of God out, God comes in, He fills you up, and then you give it out, and He comes back, and He fills you up. But if you're just keeping this stuff That's inside true. of you, you cannot be filled no. up. You're, you become no. stagnant. That's you right. become stagnant, like I can't move, like I'm just like right here, okay? I can't move. But if I'm giving the Word out, and I keep mm -hmm. on letting it go out of me, the Holy Spirit is giving it away, giving it away, then what God does, He comes from heaven, and He brings down the anointing on me, and then He fills me back up, and then I give it back out to the people. So that's the reason why you have to receive the word of God. And, and I encourage you to read the scriptures that we give to you so that Amen. God can touch you, so that God can Amen. minister Amen. to you, so Amen. that you can be healed by his Thank power. You, he loves you so much. Amen. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And that's, you know, we just want you to have an encounter with God, you know, because, you know, what, what he has done in our lives, he will do greater things in your life. Amen. You know, if you have a testimony you want to share, come on, call me up. We're right here at Vision TV. Thank We're in Jesus. Westminster, 12522 Brooker Street in Westminster. 
Call our prayer line. Do you see them on, on the phone? Do you know the prayer number? You know, I don't have it with me. Okay, well, it's on, <laughs> our, it's on, our, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the uh, tablet there. It there. Is. there it is. Uh, someone for 299-6098. It's someone for 299-7352. And, um, you know, call us, you know, and come down to the, to the TV station. Yeah, we want right to pray here. for you. We have plenty of room in our studio. We need it will be a blessing. Yes. You know, you'll probably get a, some sort of prophetic word. Oh, they you may will. even get a yeah. healing. Yes, yes. yes. You know, I mean, there's so yes. much. You know, God is so good. Oh gosh, every time we turn around here, people come and visit last Friday. People were getting healed. People were getting promised. Every time someone walking, comes here, they get healed. God's going to do every time. That's that true. That is what's so good. It's more than my church. It's what I come <laughs> here. And that's the oh, truth. I come oh. here. And, I mean, my finances were blessed. And, and my leg and my back was healed. People prayed for me. And then I bring friends and they get prayed for. And then they're And they get healed. And this is constantly happening. It's always happening. Every here. time. So come down. Visit us, and we're here Monday through Saturday from like 6.37 till 10. If you want to be on our audience, you want to just see what we're doing and be blessed, then just come in and visit us here at Vision TV. Amen. You know, we love you so much. You know, so let me just close in prayer right now. So, Father God, we just come to you, Father. Lord, I just ask you, Lord, that you just touch the people that are the viewers, Father. Those loving saints, Father God. Lord, I ask you to bless them, Lord, with healing, Lord, with finances, Lord, with prosperity, Lord. And Father, just heal their soul wounds, Father God. Whatever it is, we rebuke everything to come out of them, every evil thing right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we surrender everything to you, Father God. I ask you, Lord, that you will turn around every situation, Lord, to better ground, Father God, higher ground, Father God. Lord, that they'll reach Mount Zion, Lord, and they will worship you and praise you. Thank you, Father God, for everything, Lord, that you're doing in their life, Father God. Lord, we just speak to you, Father God. We glorify you and we thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, because we know you're so good, Father. You're so good and you're so good, Lord. And that you're so holy, Lord. We just love you. We adore you. We just love you, Father God. And then, Lord, I am not ashamed of you. I just want to tell everyone about you, Father God. Yes. About the goodness, yes. Lord. About how you great are you so are. Awesome, and, 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 Lord, just, Jesus. we just praise Jesus. you, Father. We just Jesus. love you so much. Oh, you know, Thank God you, is so God. good. Thank you. Jesus. You know, and, and just Bless receive him right now. Just say, Lord, I receive that. I receive the goodness. I receive the good words, Father God. And be around people that are positive yes. people oh, who are, who are spirit-led, who yeah. are spirit-filled people. Be around those type of people. Get out of the negative. Get out of the old. Get into something oh, new. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you today that God is a God of new. He wants you to have a new life. He amen. wants you to have a new journey. Yes. He wants you to have new things oh, every day. You, All you got to do is say, Lord, I need it. I need you, Father God. I need you, Holy Spirit. And he will give you everything that you need. He will give you the desires of your heart. So we praise God and we thank God for you. And we just thank you for joining us tonight on Overcome by Love. This is Prophetess Ruth. I am Apostle Cora Langford. And God loves you. We love you so much. God bless you. And good night. Bye-bye.